second part is cap so i will draw one rectangle of width 86 total width is 86 because the radius is 43 and its depth is 10 mm i will draw one more rectangle that width is 44 and its depth is 12 mm i will select top plane once you select the plane make normal to the plane and the sketch as i told with respect to this center i'll draw two rectangles of depth is 10 mm the width is 86 I'll draw one more rectangle of depth 12 mm. Width is 44. The center of these two rectangles should lie on the same line. I'll make it as zero. And the distance between these two rectangles should be zero. Next. Once you have the second rectangle, means at this point there is one more line of depth 6 mm. Because with respect to this point, you have to have these two circles. That's why so I will draw one line from this point of depth 6 mm. you got the center point with respect to this center point i'll draw two circles the small circle radius is 19 mm means its diameter is 38 the big circle diameter is 72 because its radius is 36 this is 38 this is 72 okay next i will retain only this profile i will delete the unwanted lines using trim option you can delete the unwanted lines i don't want this line this line this has to be deleted this one complete profile next this one 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 okay once you have the required profile this one select okay select zoom to fit once you have the required profile then come out of the sketch keep in the isometric mode What about its depth? You have to have a depth of 36. That is given in the top view. Select under Feature Extrude Bars. Select this profile. With respect to mid plane, because I want that in the another side, another side. Give a depth of 36. Okay. Next. Here at this face, you are having two circles of diameter. 10.5 whereas its distance is 62 with respect to this point that's why i will select this face and make normal to face under sketch select two circles exactly on this indicate indication 
there are two circles half diameter 10.5 and a distance of 31 mode of the sketch keep in the isometric mode and the feature select extrude cut ok if you want to have the same object on either side select mirror here select right plane ok next we have completed this portion next we have to have this profile the radius is 12 mm on either side you have to have that that's why i will select this face make normal to face again select one circle exactly on this indication at this point draw one more circle of radius 12 means diameter is 24 come out of the sketch keep in the isometric mode on the features select extrude cut select this profile i want in the opposite action that's why select here ok if you want to have the same thing on that side select mirror and the part one select right plane ok next we have completed this one next the complete outer portion is uh, arc 1 means you have, to, you have to have a cut portion here of radius 43 that's why I will select this front face this face make normal to face and draw a complete circle with respect to this point in the center of diameter 86 come out of the sketch keep it in the isometric mode and the features select extrude cut select flip side to cut ok next you should have two holes one is diameter 6 at a depth of 10 mm one more diameter 3 at a depth of total depth total depth means the outer radius is 36 inner radius is 19 the, the uh, remaining depth is 17 means you should have a 6 mm diameter of 10 mm depth you should have a 3 mm diameter of depth 17 both are simple words that's why if you have to have the same thing on the curved surface I already uh, as I defined in the first, first part the procedure, procedure is first select front plane make normal to plane and the sketch select axis line means center line always start this point up to this one come out of the sketch keep it in the isometric plane and uh, select reference geometry select new plane once the plane is highlighted select this axis line and after that select its initial point or starting point you will have a new plane on this surface you have to have a hole that's why select hole wizard first select simple one it's a simple one select this type of hole the standard should be asymmetric type should be double holes its size is 6 mm initially I will draw bigger diameter at what depth? depth is 10 mm select position place here okay. so again select one more time call wizard select this type of hole standard should be asymmetric type should double holes the diameter is 3 whereas its depth is 17 select one should satisfy the type select the position 
select the 3D sketch or you can place directly at this point or you can select here and make the distance between this and this should be 0 Okay. If you want to have a clear picture of that, keep in the front view. Select this one. It will come to now. So this is 3 mm diameter of depth 10 mm. This is a 3 mm diameter hole of depth total because we have started from this point. The total is 17. Keep in the isometric. Now save it as the rest of as cup or you can say sorry cap 